Hey guys, the quality of the last video kind of sucked, so I'm gonna be redoing this one. This is the registration tutorial for you. Take two. So, first up, you wanna go on Google. I'm gonna minimize this for a sec. You wanna type in U W I S A S. You're gonna click this link. First link that comes up. It's gonna bring you to this page right here. You're gonna click on enter secure area. It's gonna bring you to this page right here. You're gonna type in your ID number and your password. Your password will be your birth of date. Your date of birth. Wow. In the format year, month, day. After you do that, it's gonna bring you to this page right here. You're gonna click on student services. Registration, then you're gonna click select term. You click the drop down menu, select 2015 2016 semester one. Click submit. Then you are going to look up classes to add. This, this page should come up. You're gonna press class search. First, I'm going to show you foundations. I'm going to type in F O U N course search. I'm going to do critical reading and writing, view sections, M11 is the lecture, S01 or S, whatever number comes after, is the seminar. It's basically the tutorial. For the foundation courses that lasts two hours <laughs> so you're gonna select the lecture because you need each component of the course and then you're gonna select a tutorial or a seminar you're gonna click register now this is why I showed you if this comes up um, you're gonna need to request an override it says prerequisite and test score error this may this may mean that you may not have may not have gotten a grade that qualifies you to do the course or there's just an error in the system I am qualified so this is another error you're gonna request an override now go down select the course you wanna request the override the reason for submitting and you're gonna submit requests so when the lecturer reviews it then you're gonna get the course or the lecturer may choose to ignore you <laughs> If that happens, then you can email the lecturer. How you'll find their email, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I'm gonna click the course registration number. Okay. Mm. Last year they had some emails on here I believe I guess they took it off sorry guys not your lucky year I guess <laughs> okay I'm gonna return to the menu I'm gonna look up classes to add class search advanced search you're gonna click over here select the type of course you want to do so computing I'm gonna use first year for example gonna press Mona press my campus undergraduate section search gonna as I said you need each component of the course so B is the lab M is the lecture or if you see W it's a lecture as well but for the Western campus that's why you should select your campus so you're gonna have to be careful of these right here and T is the tutorial. For some courses, you're gonna need a secondary tutorial. So this one requires it. So I'm gonna select a lecture. I'm gonna select a lab. I'm gonna select a tutorial. And I'm gonna select a secondary tutorial. I'm gonna go down. You can select multiple courses at a time so you don't need to do it one at a time. You know, select register. Suppose I wanna change my tutorials. 
what am I gonna do? All right, I'm gonna go into class search. I know what course I want, so I'm gonna go come course search. Introduction to computing one, view sections. You could, you'll take note that the boxes that you already clicked, they're not there anymore. So, say I want to change my tutorials. I'm going to click two different tutorials. You can do this for labs too. And I'm going to add them to my worksheet. I'm going to find the tutorials up here. I'm going to go on web job and then I'm going to press submit changes. And there you go. Your tutorials are changed. Now, this is assuming you already know what courses you want to do. If you don't, however, you're going to go on this page. The link to this page will be in the description. This page is the UE program, so I'm going to leave this in the description. Science and Technology. Say I'm going to do Computer Science again. He's going to give you some information, but you don't know what courses to do, okay? But you know the prerequisites, so I'm going to go to the department website. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find this right here, Majors, Programs, and Option. It's going to bring up a PDF of all the courses offered in the department and also what you need for each major. So there's a computer science major up here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So yeah, computer science major gives you all the level one courses necessary, level two and level three. In the computer science department, you're gonna see the computer science major, software engineering major, IT major, and computer systems engineering major. And it's gonna give you, a, scroll on further, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of information about each, each course. I'm not gonna read that right now <laughs> for obvious reasons. So I'm going to go back. It won't be like this for every department. So I'm going to show you a different department. Going to go in science and technology. Going to go something. Bachelor of Science is always the undergraduate, by the way. Occupational environment, safety and health. I'm going to go on that. And look at that. It shows you what you need, all the courses and whatnot. So there you go. You can also go to the department website again if you want more information. Yeah, so there you go. Now, I'm going to show you a different course. I probably should do this for different faculty, so I'm going to use social sciences. Bachelor of Science in Accounting, why not? No, Master of Science, Bachelor of Science. Uh, scroll down, oop. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna need to locate this fact. Hmm. Hmm, it's really strange. Let me try another one. So I'm at the Faculty of Social Sciences. Departments and Schools. Departments of Economics. Programs. Okay, so Bachelor of Science in Economics, major, and it's going to show you everything that you need. It's a bit lengthier process, but you guys get the drift of it, hopefully. I'm going to go back now, or I should go back here. Uh, what else do I need to show you? I'm going to return to the main menu. Uh, student schedule by date and time. This is gonna show you. What, this is gonna show you what you need. It'll show you your timetable. 
I'm gonna go 9th of the 10th 2015 submit and if you have it's gonna show you time table here if you have any overlapping courses or classes it's gonna show you down here at the bottom and you can add and drop classes from the bottom down here uh, detail schedule yeah what else you guys need to know I think that's pretty much it hopefully this is enlightening you guys and showed you the way to register I hope you guys have fun with this have a great year at UA. just do your work and you'll definitely get through it don't worry guys make some good friends Catch you next time. I'll be uploading some more videos trying to help you guys out. I'll see you later.